What's on, ladies and gentlemen? My name's Ross. I like games, and today have we got some super interesting stuff for you. You see, ladies and gentlemen, BT10. I've told you a couple times lately that BT10 has not actually yet been revealed. Well, now it has, ladies and gentlemen. Now it absolutely has. As a quick side note here, there is a chance that there's one or two videos I've recorded that I've not quite uploaded yet that refer to BT10 as not having been revealed. Obviously, that's no longer true. And honestly, a lot of this is what we were expecting. So what we've got here is BT10, and it is all to do with those cross Digimon, which of course is exactly what we were expecting. You will notice that on the pack art here, it does say 113 cards, rather than the usual 112, so there's probably a third secret rare. This should be updated on the website before too long, at which point we will have confirmation. But what we've got here is basically a bunch of cards, and a bunch of new keywords, and a bunch of stuff that it doesn't all make complete sense. I'm going to tell you that right off the bat. Not all of this makes complete sense yet. It leaves a bunch of questions. But basically, what we've got is a bunch of new cards and new mechanics. And then, at some point in the near future, we will get more shown. And when more gets shown, that will give us the answers we're looking for. Make sense? Wonderful. Translations here, of course, from the lovely folks over at Ensan Gaming. So, what have we got? Well, what we've got here is Shoutmon Cross 4. A 9 cost to play level 4, which is super high. 3 cost to Digivolve from either red or yellow. It is a dual color red and yellow, which is super high. 8,000 power which is super high. When I tell you that 737 is your average for a level 5, a level 4 we're looking like 424 or 525. 938 for a level 4, that's ridiculous, ladies and gentlemen. These stats make no sense. But what we've got here is Material Save 2. That is a new keyword skill. When this Digimon would be deleted, you may play two of this Digimon's evolution sources that are this Digimon's Digicross requirements to the bottom of one of your tamers. So basically, you get deleted, but you get to put some of your evolution sources, two of them, under the bottom of one of your tamers. Now, this is where it all gets a little bit confusing and a little bit complicated. Now, I'm going to tell you right off the bat before we get going, we don't really know why we're putting evolution sources underneath tamers. That's not really been revealed yet, unless I'm missing something obvious. But if I am, you know, please do let me know. Somebody pointed this out on Ensans Gaming's post, and Aaron Engo said, in the show, the crossloaders could store Digimon like Pokemon to PC, and they did across that way too. You're not, not entirely sure, honestly. <laughs> that is a question that still has to be answered. But wait a second, what does it mean by, are this Digimon's Digicross requirements? Well, the bottom skill says, Digicross minus two, Shoutmon, Blastemon, Dororamon, Starmons. When playing this Digimon, you may place those cards from your hand or battle area to the bottom of this Digimon's evolution sources and reduce the play cost by one for each card placed. So actually, although it is a fantastically expensive Digimon, you can just reduce the play cost right down. And by doing so, you build these cards under your Digimon. And then when you get deleted, you get to put those evolution sources under your Tamer. Although we're still not entirely sure why you would put them under your Tamer. That is a question to be answered later. Incidentally, we have seen those four Digimon. But they were so small that unfortunately, we, we don't have a good look at them. We don't know what they do. I'm sorry. We do have a nice simple skill there when you play it. Draw two. Lovely. And, and to be fair, that's really good. Draw two on play is really good. And, you know, if you're playing this for a significantly cheaper cost and then drawing two at the same time, this is good. It's also pretty important because if I'm putting a bunch of cards from my hand 
underneath this Digimon when I play it, then that is really reducing my hand size, but I'm not drawing when I play like I would when I evolve. So that means that actually, yeah, that being able to draw when you do this is pretty important. And then at the end of your attack, by placing all of this Digimon's evolution sources to the bottom of one of your tamers, you may put one of your tamers to active and delete this Digimon. So again, we've got a mechanic there which can really load cards underneath a tamer, and then you get deleted, and presumably that's a good thing. So, to go through all of these new mechanics, Material Save says when it would be deleted, you can take that number, in this case Material Save 2, is 2, of those evolution sources to put at the bottom of a tamer. Digicross minus 2 says that what you can do here is put those cards that are named underneath as you play the card. And I believe DTCG Review is telling us, and I believe this is true, that essentially you reduce the cost by 2 for each one you put under. I.e. if you put one of all 4 under, this actually becomes a 1 cost to play, and then you draw 2 cards and you've got all the other skills as well. That makes sense. Now... Ensign Gaming is saying reduce the play cost by one for each card placed, but DTCG Review is saying reduce play cost by the stated amount for each card placed, and that would make sense in the same way Digger's Option minus two reduces the cost by two. It makes sense that Digger Cross minus two would reduce the cost by two for each one played. I believe that's how it goes. I am recording this right as this stuff is revealed. I am giving you the best information we've got. Please do bear in mind these are brand new mechanics that have just been revealed on a live stream, or a video I suppose that went live. If any mistakes are made, I will make a follow-up video correcting them, but I'm fairly sure we're right about this. So what we've got is Material Save X lets you put X Digimon to the bottom of a tamer when you're deleted. And Digicross minus X names a bunch of Digimon. You can put those from your hand or battle area to the bottom of this Digimon's Digivolution sources when you play it and reduce the cost by X for each card that you place in this way. That kind of makes sense. And this looks good, but like I said at the start, there are still a bunch of questions. In theory, Material Save 2 is good. And in theory, being able to put all your Evolution sources to the bottom of one of your Tamers is good. But we've not actually seen anything here to tell us why we would want that. Hey-ho. Now, Sheltmon comes along. This is the other Digimon that was properly revealed. Four cost to play normally, zero cost to Digivolve, 2,000 power. Yeah. Um, that, that's quite a lot, ladies and gentlemen. That's, um, that's quite a lot. Four cost to play is quite high. But when you evolve, you can evolve from a cross heart trait level 2 for zero memory. And I'm going to be honest with you, I'm not entirely sure about this one. Unless, of course, cross heart can't digivolve into others. We've not seen a cross heart trait level 2. But obviously you can evolve from a normal level 2 for zero memory. So there may well be something going on with level 2s with cross heart. That is another question that still needs to be answered here. Because it honestly makes no sense to... Digivolve from a cross heart trait level 2 for 0. When it's a level 3, they can digivolve from a level 2 for 0. That remains a question. When played, you open 3 cards from the deck, or look at the top 3 cards of your deck, add a cross heart trait Digimon and a Tamer to hand, and then put the remaining cards to the bottom of your deck in any order. Which is clearly good. Like, that's clearly a, a good skill. We've seen these kind of skills a lot. It's search. And we like searching, ladies and gentlemen. Searching is very, very good indeed. Then we've got on deletion, save. Another new keyword. Three keywords in total. So we've got material save, X. Digicross minus X. And then save. Save says, when this Digimon is deleted, place this card under your tamer. Simple. Nice. Again, we're putting cards under tamers again. We're not entirely sure why. But we've got a nice inheritable skill. While this Digimon has Sheltmon in its name, this Digimon gains advance. That is the one where you can attack when you Digivolve, even if the turn should pass to your opponent, which is nice. That's good. Digivolve up, and even if it should go to your opponent, you still get to go and have an attack 
and that's rather lovely. And this seems like a really good card. You know, it's got the search on play, which is great. We've seen that on a bunch of cards before. It's got save on deletion, which seems good. And it can have advance, which is clearly good. But again, we're not 100% sure exactly what it means by the evolution skill. That might make the card a, a lot better. But it's a question which remains. Like I've said, you know, we, we've seen a million level 3s that can digivolve from a level 2 for zero cost. Evolve from a crosshair trait level 2 for zero cost. I'm assuming that means the level 2s with crosshair have something else going on. But we've not seen any of them, so we don't know. And then we've got one tamer to have a look at. It is Kudo Taiki. And like me, you're probably going, hey, we'll see. Is this going to answer a bunch of the questions we've got about why we're putting all these Digimon under tamers? No. It's got the usual security skill that you can play it for free. That's fine. When you play, you reveal the top four cards of your deck. And you add a card with Crossheart in its traits to your hand. And a Digimon with Crossheart in its traits under this tamer. And then you return any remaining cards to the bottom of your deck in any order. So once again, we are adding cards to the bottom of the tamer. Once again, we, we still don't exactly know why. And then on your turn, when you play one of your Digimon with Digicross requirements, you may rest this tamer and place cards under your tamers as Digicross evolution sources. Now, this is at least a tiny part of the answer. I said no. Okay, fine. We have a tiny part of the answer here. Essentially, this has a mechanic whereby when you play a Digimon with Digicross requirements, i.e. when you play it and put the Digicross cards under it like we said a moment ago, you can suspend this tamer and place cards under your tamers as Digicross evolution sources, which would give more inheritable skills, which would presumably reduce the cost as well as you do so. And then presumably you then put them back under your tamer and then put them back under Digimon and kind of switch them back and forth. That makes a little bit of sense here, but as I've been saying all video, I really don't think this is it. I refuse to believe this is the only part, because we've got so many things about putting Digimon under tamers here, that I cannot believe that all we've got is this tamer that just lets you place cards under your tamers as Digicross evolution sources. So, I don't think this is a whole story, frankly. I think there is still a lot we need to know. But there we go, three new cards from BT10 and the pack art, and I suppose four more that are so small we can't actually see what they do, so you know, have fun with that. But basically what we've got here is three new keywords, that is a lot, or three new mechanics, call them what you will, and this really intriguing mechanic whereby we're constantly putting cards under our tamers, and then that one tamer that lets you essentially put those cards back under Digimon for all kinds of fun purposes, but I think it's fair to say there's still quite a lot we don't know. But as always, ladies and gentlemen, if you're not subscribed, might I suggest you do so, because what's going to happen is we're going to get more information about this, and as we get more information, I'm going to be sharing it all with you, because I care. But now, ladies and gentlemen, I want to know what you think about all of this. I want to know your impressions. I want to know if you've got anything else that you think you know, any other insight, any other predictions, anything at all. Go nuts in the comment section, would you? But be nice! And then make sure you like this video, subscribe to this channel, follow me on Twitter at the Wasi. That's where we talk Digimon and a whole bunch of other card games. And please do consider checking out patreon.com slash ptcgradio, where you can support the channel, get some bonus podcasts, and all kinds of fun things. But by far the most important thing as always, look after yourselves till next time, would ya? Thank you very much for watching. My name's Ross, and you've been watching Wasi Plays.